Meghan shows true colors. Disgraceful Sussex vehemently denounced for controlling Harry. Meghan Markle is manipulative towards her husband. There is a huge difference between loving someone and controlling them. On the outside, what she does with Prince Harry in public might seem kind and adoring, but the more it happens, the more there seems to be something going on below the surface that we can't see. A body language expert has analyzed footage of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry attending public engagements and claims to have found evidence of a supposedly controlling gesture Meghan uses. Tina McQueen, vice president of the Federal Division of the Liberal Party of Australia was speaking during a program hosted by Corey Bernardi Friday. The politician labeled Meghan to be controlling of Harry, by dragging him to a very dark path as she mentioned the development of Meghan's legal battle with Associated Newspapers Limited, UK. Meghan and Harry officially stood down from royal engagements when they left the royal family last year. But they have since appeared in public on visits to New York, most recently attending a ceremony for military veterans. Now, Body language expert Jesus Enrique Rosas claims to have unearthed evidence of the Duchess of Sussex employing controlling gestures on her husband. In the video entitled Meghan's Controlling Gesture Exposed in Rare Video, Jesus analyzed a clip taken from the 2019 Commonwealth Day ceremony. He mentioned a scene in which Meghan interrupts a conversation between Harry and a guest, drawing the prince's attention away from her. She is looking directly at Harry, and that is relevant, because usually, when you interrupt someone who is talking, you should excuse yourself, he sid on his YouTube signal. US why simple excuse me, ndmk I can't see t with the other people. Megan reaches out with her hndnd touches him in the middle of his bck, s ying few words. H returns round in the middle of sentence, mks I can't see t with her, nd then sd rees bl and clean to spc. In the clip, Harry can then be seen to pull a grimace, and makes to leave, smiling apologetically at the guest. You might say that this is just a silly face from Harry, trying to excuse himself from having to leave, Jesus acknowledged. However, the body language analyst suggested that Harry had other options, for instance to continue the conversation for a few more seconds, before abruptly leaving. He continued, there's a very good chance that Meghan interrupted Harry because she just wanted to go. It's perfectly understandable, she being pregnant and having to attend the service for such a long time. It would not have been comfortable for her at all. But, according to the body LNUG expert, similar incident occurred during the couple's recent pants t the s loot to Freedom GL in the United Street Tess. He added, and when a behavior pattern repeats over time, you realize that it's part of the person's behavior. While speaking to the rewired Virtuel Summit, the Duke of Sussex defended his wife. After an independent study found Megan HD been the TJ of Twitter HTCMP Ign, HRSLM met the term Megxit S misogynistic T the event. Recently, Megan sincerely apologized to the judge saying that she forgot about the email exchanges with Knauf, which proved their connection in creating Finding Freedom. Meanwhile, according to royal expert Ian Lloyd, Harry and Meghan may return for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee next year. Although not yet confirmed, if the couple join the celebration, the expert said that he would be surprised if they fail to appear as the couple's brand relies on their connection with the British royal family. Harry and Meghan currently seem to be quite full since stepping down from their royal duties. The Sussexes have been busy in their Archul Foundation and have jumped upon careers as humanitarian activists. The Duke of Sussex visited his family once for the funeral of Prince Philip in April and the next time during the unveiling of Princess Diana's statue in July. Unveiling of Pr